Okay, here we are back on the brakes. I am uh, had to pull the vehicle. Rain would not let up long enough for me to work on these things, so I had to pull it inside the shop a little bit. I'm actually on the driver's side right now because I didn't have room to get back on the passenger side. So this is the side I replaced. I also put a brand new drum here. And the drum won't come off because I adjusted the brakes to where I had some brake and uh, got it too tight so I have to back off. So here's the problem. Here's a little cover right here. This thing comes out of this little hole back here. If I can get to it. And there it is right there. So be careful when you pull it out of that hole so you don't tear the rubber. Uh, it's it's good to protect it, keep dust and stuff and dirt out of there. So here's the adjustment. The problem is these adjustments are made to adjust one way, not the other. So it's quite a pain to get it to back off, but you'll find that you'll have to do that. Sometimes uh, if brakes are too hard to get off, you can't just beat the drum off with a sledgehammer. You actually have to back the brakes off. So you have to get a tool, something like a brake tool of some sort. Some people use a screwdriver to get it to back off, and sometimes you really have to work it. It might take you a while. So this has obviously taken me quite a while, so I'm just giving you an idea. I'm going to go ahead and pause this video, and I'll come back to this when I'm able to get the drum off. Okay, it appears I got this loose enough to get this drum off. Let me see if I can set this down here and try and make it where you can still see. Uh, hope it's on there. All right, I'm back here again. This time, what you're seeing here, this is the uh, this is the driver side, not the passenger side, but it's just the opposite. Again, you can see I got it backwards. The uh, as you, if you can see the uh, the meat right here on the, on the uh, you know the shoe. You'll see how far it comes up on this side, and you'll see it goes down farther on on this side here. So um, this side is supposed to be the side. This, this side pulls out when you hit the brakes. This pushes out against the drum. This is the side that's supposed to be on this side. So I got them backwards on both sides, and uh, you'll notice that, that the the meat on this, or whatever you want to call that, that extra meat holding that shoe, is thinner than this meat. This is the one that's supposed to push out. This one just absorbs the extra pressure when you push out on it. So now I have to take this apart. And what I'm going to do here is this thing here. It's a little hard to see, but there's it's just like the one on this side. This side I have to take this out. Basically I push that in and pop that out and that spring comes out. So that's part of what's holding this together here. Then I gotta take some pliers and pull this spring out of this hole on one side or the other. And then I will also loosen this some more. This is what I had to loosen from the back side to uh, get this off. As you can see, it doesn't like to go the opposite direction. It likes to go the other way. So I'll end up taking that, loosening it till that whole piece pops out of there. And I'm going to go ahead and put it on pause again because uh, I don't want to waste your time watching me do all this. Uh, if I find a spot that uh, I think should go on here, I'll go ahead and unpause it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and fire this thing back up again. Let's see if I can uh, get a position here for you guys. Let me see if there's I even have a front camera on this thing. Yeah, I don't see how to, how to swap that around, so... Let's go ahead and see if I can position this so you can see a little bit of what I'm doing here. This right here, this piece, sometimes you can just pull it apart and get it to come out. Yeah. 
that's the uh, adjuster. It only it should it'll go on two different ways, but it's supposed to only go on one way. Where these teeth face this way, they're supposed to catch on this unit here. So when you it tightens and when you back up, this is your self adjuster. This one has uh, reverse threads, so this it has to go a certain way. So we'll set that down here. Let's see if I can get the other side apart. This this piece here has to go on a certain way also it needs to be this spring it goes on a specific way and all this too so this is pretty easy to get here you can actually take this spring you can lift up on it and lift that out of there like that and the spring goes behind not in front of this is a, a emergency the emergency brake spring cable and it goes along that let's see it goes along that unit there that little wraparound thing it comes out up here and it goes behind where this other spring here is connected to that thing there so I'm gonna set you back down here see if I can get this out Not sure if you can see that or not. That is the hard part. That's definitely the hard part trying to get that spring on or off of that. All right, so I got this loose. I'm going to go ahead and pause it again until I pull it off and get things turned around. Okay, now here's an issue with the getting them on the wrong side. I just put these together the way the old ones came apart, but unfortunately it's the wrong way I don't know how I'm gonna I don't even know how I'm gonna do this I might even have the wrong shoes on the wrong side which is not good I have to figure out a way to jack up the other side and take it apart okay anyway this unit here goes on on this direction but on this shoe apparently I've got I got I do have to take apart the other side because this one doesn't give a place to yes it does look at right there so in order to get this off of here which is where your cable goes around and get it on here which is what I had to do to take it off the other one you have to take these little tabs right here 
You have to bend them out, pop that out, stick it in this side, flip it over, and hammer them back down. Same with this little item. You can see that little pin right there. That little pin sticks out here. And it just basically holds this part on. Let's see if I can get this off here. Uh, Kind of see how that little spring there is holding that. So it looks like I bent that trying to get it off. I'll have to straighten it back out, but that's okay. So this piece here comes off. Kind of hard to do with one hand. I have to take this. Let me see if I can set this down here. off like this there we go it comes off of there well, I guess I could have just taken the spring off but anyway just so you remember how it goes on there. Now I gotta pop that out. Stick it in the other end. Stick it in that one. Stick it in this one over here. On that side coming up. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my tools and I'll pause this again and uh, get back to you.